Hello everyone, welcome to Basic Science Series and today we will be discussing phagocytosis. The illustration is right over here and we will be discussing all the individual steps in the process of phagocytosis. I'll discuss in detail what is phagocytosis, what are the different steps involved in phagocytosis in detail and we'll also try to create the illustration that we have right now. Okay, so with that note, let's start uh, creating the illustration and also start discussing the steps. Uh, before before that, I have uh, one quick request. If you are new to the channel, then please do subscribe to the channel because your support is very, very important for, for the channel, for the growth of the channel. Okay, let's move uh, to the slide where we're going to create the same illustration and step by step we'll also try to understand what are the steps involved and uh, what, what, what is the significance of all those steps. We'll start with the, with the cell. Right. As we, as we discussed, phagocytosis uh, is, the, is the process. That means there are there must be cells involved in that process that we need to understand. This is, uh, this is a typical cell that you're seeing. I, I have not designed other organelles because I need to use these illustrations to show the steps. Okay, I'm going to just show the nucleus right over here. Nucleolus, nucleolus is also there. And then uh, endoplasmic reticulum uh, is uh, attached to this one just to give it the appearance of an uh, uh, of animal cell. Okay, so what is phagocytosis and why why the phagocytosis is so important, right? Phagocytosis is a cellular process. Cellular process means cells are involved. We call them phagocytes. These are the cells. They engulf large particles or microorganisms. Now, phagocytosis is not only limited for microbes. We, we're going to have the example of microbes uh, in this case, but it is also associated with large particles. Uh, it can be used to, uh, you know, internalize various organelles, uh, the organelles from the dead cells and so on so it is really important another thing is it it is crucial defense mechanism uh, we don't want any kind of uh, foreign microbes in our system so our phagocytes they have the ability to take up those microbes right and how they how they do it we're going to discuss that uh, that mechanism this process is vital for removing pathogens and dead cells dead dead tissue the damaged cells to maintain the tissue homeostasis, we need to maintain uh, the you know balance between the uh, the dead cells and also the living cells. So it's really important. Now phagocytes, we need to understand what are these cells. In this case, uh, this is one of the phagocytes. You can take the, the, the you know example of any of any of the the phagocytes that that are known. Now this is the phagocyte. So <clears throat> let's use uh, the first text that I have. So I'm gonna label also, right? So let let me use this to label the phagocyte so what i'm doing is i'm just saying that this cell is the the phagocyte now what are phagocyte and uh, phagocytes and what are the specific examples uh, for phagocytes now phagocytes uh, are the white blood cells that you need to understand which includes macrophages neutrophils and dendritic cells these are three typical examples for phagocytes and their role is basically to perform phagocytosis at a at a higher level as compared to the other ones now, what they do is they, they look for invaders such as bacteria. They will look for uh, invaders like this. So this is uh, the example of the bacteria. And uh, I, can, I can use this text as microbes. In microbes, you have uh, fungi, you have viruses, you have bacteria. Uh, right over here, I'm just taking the example of bacteria. But microbes are involved in the process of phagocytosis. Now, you can clearly see the bacterial cells. And their role is to look for these, these cells and then... Uh, using cellular signaling mechanism, they can engulf these particles to eliminate them. The role is to basically eliminate by using cellular system. Now, what happens inside the this phagocyte? We'll understand. Now, what happens is in this case, uh, the microbes they will they will come in in really close contact with the phagocyte. In this case, and then the the cells they will internalize these cells. So there will be the folding of the of the membrane around these cells like this. And, and those uh, those structures are known as uh, pseudopods. So the next label is right over here. And I also need to create the pseudopod. So I'll, I'm going to use the second illustration, which is right over here. And I don't know whether it justifies that. Correct. So as you can clearly see, uh, the illustration is trying to trying to show that it is it is this it, it is forming the structure around the bacterial cells so bacterial cells now they are internalized like this so cells outside they went and phagocytized by the phagocyte so cells are inside so let, let me take this and keep the cells out okay pseudopods what are pseudopods so that is the second point uh, 
pseudopods, they are false feet. They are also known as false feet because they are temporary structures. They are not they are, they are not a permanent structure. They are arm-like extensions. So I can I can even try to draw those structures like this. Something like this will happen. I'm drawing it, but final illustration will be uh, after I fill the structure. So you can see something like this will will surround the microbe and try to uh, create um, in, or or cover these cells so that they can put them inside. Right. So I'm going to delete this one. These structures right over here are called pseudopods. Okay. I'm going to label this one. So this is the false feet or arm-like projection which can help in the internalization of the microbes. Now, microbes, they are entered inside the cell. What happens after that? Okay, anything anything else? Pseudopods are also important for motility and ingestion of, of um, ingestion capabilities of agocytes. These are some of the other features. Now, let's move on to the next step, which is like this. So, what happens is after, after the microbes, they internalize the phagocytes, no, nah, sorry, the microbes, then what happens is they create this membrane structure it's a membrane bound structure which is known as phagosome okay now hope i hope the, now this is clear and we'll also discuss uh, lysosome but phagosome so let's label this one this is our phagosome so after internalization of the bacteria we have the membrane uh, bound structure phagosome and what is phagosome phagosome is membrane bound vesicle formed inside the phagocytes when they when they basically take up the particles or microorganisms so it's a membrane bound structure which is created inside the phagocyte it serves as a containment area where the ingested material can be hold and what happens after that we will understand now this is your phagosome the next step is the entry of our lysosome so right now lysosome i'm just creating one membrane vesicle and this is lysosome and lysosome will usually have another component which is digestive enzymes let me label this one first and we'll talk about lysosomes and also let's move digestive enzymes that i've created right inside the lysosome so this is your lysosome and now lysosome are the organelles within cells containing digestive enzymes okay so i hope this is clear that you have these uh, yellow dots, uh, red dots, they are representing uh, the enzymes. And digestive enzymes in lysosomes, they are crucial for degrading ingested material within the phagolysosome. Now, digestion will happen when these two components, they will fuse together. Now, what will happen? These two are membrane-bound structure created by the same kind of membrane, so membrane can fuse together. Now, you can see, uh, I'll zoom in also. Look at this. So this part comes from lysosome. This part comes from the phagosome. Now they are combined together to create the phagolysosome. Before that, I forgot to label the digestive enzymes. Let's do that also. Right? Okay. Lysosome. And then inside lysosome, I have uh, digestive enzymes. I also have uh, phagolysosome. Now this is the stage where right now it is in the process of uh, the cell is in the process of creating phagolysosome. The word uh, basically composed of phagosome plus lysosome. Now, what is happening? Digestive enzymes, they are coming from lysosome. Uh, the microbes, they are coming from the phagosome. So that is how it has been created. Now, enzymes inside the lysosome uh, will be, how many enzymes will be there? Let's, let's see. You have proteases to degrade proteins. Proteins are... Uh, essential components of the microbes so proteases will be there lipases will be there nucleases will be there lipases the role of uh, lipases is to dissolve the fat and then you have uh, nucleases that can degrade uh, nucleic acids lipases will degrade lipids or break down lipids so uh, enzyme digestion is very very important many times you know questions will come with, uh, from various uh, various uh, you know focus area of uh, functioning of lysosome how lysosome works, how it can find out the phagosome, what is the mechanism of fusion. A lot of, lot of uh, complicated uh, processes are there. Research is going on to understand all these processes. Anyways, so what will happen next is you already have phagolysosome and when phagolysosome is being created, so you can clearly see partially digestive bacteria. So process will go on and uh, in that process you will see the bacteria is being degraded into smaller components. And some of the material will also remain undigested, right? So that undigested material will also be there in the, in the system. You can't do anything about that. So let me adjust it a little bit. And this is the undigested material, which can't be digested. There will be 
a lot of material that that can't be degraded by those enzymes and that is your indigestible material and after that what you will have is the waste material that will go out okay so phagolysosome we have already discussed is the cytoplasmic uh, phagolysosome is the cytoplasmic body formed by the fusion of phagosome and the lysosome it is the site where ingested pathogen and particles are exposed to digestive enzyme here they will be exposed to the digestive enzymes leading to their breakdown so this this is very very important and this is the vital process okay waste material now finally the waste that is being generated inside the cell by these processes well what will happen obviously that will be excreted out so you are seeing this what you are seeing is the material that is getting out from the phagocyte that is the waste material so i'm going to use this directly over here and within a very very short span our illustration is complete right so what i mean by partially digested bacteria indigestible material and also waste let's talk about that. partially digested uh, this one partially digested bacteria and phagosome are the intermediate product of de degradation process here the process is still going on and the bacteria is getting degraded and it is going to take some time because bacteria is is not an easy organism to degrade it will take some time right and after that indigestible material referred to the substance within the phagolysosome that cannot be broken down by the lysosomal enzymes and then it needs to be expelled out the waste material which can't be degraded so waste from the phagocytosis process includes degraded pathogens dead cells and then some components of the dead cells and other debris right so that is also is there and uh, by the process of exocytosis this waste can be removed from the cells and that waste can be excreted out from the body so these are some of the important points and if we talk about the significance significance uh, phagocytosis is crucial for immune system it enables the removal of pathogen that we have already talked about it helps in removal of the dead cells debris and also prevents infection and promoting tissue repair so that means if you want to keep your cells healthy your phagocytes should work properly this process is highly important to maintain the tissue homeostasis and also defend our and and help in uh, our building our defense against the the infection or infectious agents right so that is all about the process of phagocytosis i hope i have uh, included some of the important points some of the essential features so i think this video will help you to understand the entire process and if you just listen to this video i think that only will solve the purpose uh, and if you if you also watch the video at the same time you can see how i have created these illustration and these illustrations are not difficult to create you can create these illustrations by yourself and create original diagrams and then uh, you know uh, your your reports they are going to uh, look great and your understanding of phagocytosis will also improve right okay so that is all from my side and i hope uh, that you were able to understand the process of phagocytosis if you have any any doubts any anything that you want to ask you can post your questions in the comment section and if uh, you're happy with this this content with the, with the video then please give us thumbs up and also subscribe to the channel thank you and take care